Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we will understand how to create component using JSX. In the previous lectures, we had learned how to create a React element using JSX. So now we will create a component using JSX. So the first thing we need to create a component class. In this component class, we will create React element. We already learned how to create React element using create element method. But now I will show you how to use JSX to create a component, right? So when working with the React component, the syntax of JSX is same as used in the previous lectures. But the only difference is that the component class must start with the capital letter. So let's consider the following example and understand how to create React component using JSX. Suppose if you wanted to create the fruit list in 10 different projects, then you wanted to use the same code again and again in different files. To solve this problem, we have a React component class. You can use this class anywhere and create the same component. We know that the component class helps us to create reusable component. Now let's create a fruit list using component class. In the previous lecture, we had just created this simple nested component using the JSX. And now we will create a component using JSX code. Now, I will just create a component class here. So I will just add a comment here and say component class and just create a class. So I will just say class fruits and extend this class with the react dot component class, right? Make sure the name of your component class start with the capital letter, right? Now in this class, we will create render method. So I will just say render and in this method, I will just return a statement. So I will just say return here. Now here, I just wanted to return this UL tag and this nested li tag. So if I just copy this and paste it here, so I will just copy this statement and paste it here. Then the return statement only return the first line. These lines are not written with the return statement because return statement only return the single statement. To return multiple lines, we need to, we need to use parentheses around these statements. So I will just get rid of this statement and say here parentheses. In this parentheses, I will just create a division tag. So I will just say div and close this division tag. And in this division tag, I just wanted to copy this ul tag and li tag and paste it here and save my document. Now, this component class is returning this statement, right? So here you don't need to use the nested elements, right? So I will just get rid of this statement and I will just call the fruit class, right? So I just wanted to call this fruit component here. To call this component, we are using JSX. Oops, I just wanted to remove this comma here, right? Now, I just wanted to call this component class. To call this component class, we are using JSX. So I will just use angle bracket and in this bracket, I will just say fruits and say forward slash, right? And save my document. So now when you execute this document, you will get the same result. But now the benefit of using this code is you can use this code in different files without repeating the code, right? The component help us to use reusable code. Now, I just wanted to show you how you can print the output of the variable in the JSX. Outputting a variable in the JSX is very simple. Let's say if you wanted to print a variable in the JavaScript. So I just wanted to create a variable here in the render method. So I will just select fruit item is equal to and specify a literal apple. Right now consider this variable is getting data from the server or from the user, but we are just specifying a static value to this variable. 
right now i just wanted to print this variable in this list you already know that if you wanted to print a variable in javascript then you can use concatenation method just like this you can use the plus sign to concatenate variable in the javascript program or you can just say backtick to print a variable like this right so using this method you can output the variable on the document in the javascript right in jsx you need to specify only a curly braces right using the curly braces you can print any variable data in the jsx so i will just get rid of this statement and here i will just create a list tag li and say class item and close this li tag and here i just wanted to print this variable data so i will just say curly braces here and say fruit oops fruit item right and just save my document and execute this so you will get your data on the document so using the curly braces you can add dynamic data into jsx code you can get the data from the user or from the server and print on the ui it is very simple to print data using the jsx isn't it i hope you understand how to create a component using jsx that's it i hope you understand this lecture if you have any question you can ask me in the comment answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture